What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video, we are going to unpackage the January Mystery Tackle Box. Guys, I'm sorry, I know it's February 1st, but we always try to do this with Bentley, and there were a bunch of snow days that fell on the week that he was with his dad, which is the only week that I can hang out with him and do this stuff. So, unfortunately, he's with his mom right now, and we've got to get this video out. So, he'll be back with us for the uh, February tackle box, but uh, we're going to go ahead, crack open the January, and uh, we're going to roll that intro, and then we'll dive into this thing. <laughs> The January Mystery Tackle Box. Really excited for this one. We're opening this right before we go to Lake Chickamauga. So really looking forward to having some baits with us to go down there. Ooh, I see some really good stuff right off the bat. So number one, we're gonna go ahead and just get this one out of the way because everybody knows I'm fully sponsored by them. X-Zone Lures. This is the brand new 3.5 inch Adrenaline Bug Junior. I actually don't have any juniors yet. Um, I put in my yearly order at the end of every year for the following year and I just forgot to put those in. Um, this is Purple Shadow. This is one of my all time favorite, favorite colors. Something else we're gonna go ahead and get out of the way. Castaic. Come on, focus. Hey, yep, yeah, yeah, it's focusing. There we go. Castaic, guys, y'all know. I'm with Castaic now. This is the CXV65. This is their lipless bait. It's a half ounce bait. Uh, this looks like maybe a, uh, it just says chrome black. Anyway, looks like a gizzard shad. Love those. All right. Uh, no, I got one more. Okay, so I'm not really, like I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I'm a part of a influencer team that we work with other companies and whatnot. And I've been working with these guys for two boxes now. Spear point hooks. Really, really love spear point hooks. Uh, they've got that weird bend to it. Uh, these are the three aughts, two pack of three aught hooks. Really, really enjoy those hooks. Uh, they stick fish and they don't come off very easily. So, I think that's everything that I've actually used in here before. Well, I've used this one before, but I'm not like sponsored by them or anything. So, let's get to it. Berkeley Digger. This is the 3.5 inch digger. Aggressive wobble, side flash. This is a slow rising crankbait. Dives three to point four, three to five. Jeez, I'm reading too fast. It dives three to five feet, quarter of an ounce, silent. That's gonna be like a killer bait to be throwing on uh, like cold water lakes. I'll probably throw that on a spinning rod, light line. Be a really good one. I'm gonna save those for last because I really like how those look. I'm gonna save, oh, I'm gonna save that for last. Oh gosh, I got two of them. Man, I love jigs. Have I ever told you how much I love jigs? We'll save those jigs for last. All right, so I've heard of these before. I've never gotten to use them. Lake Fork Trophy Lures. I've never actually gotten to use any of their baits before. Um, really excited to give these a try. These are the Hyper Stick 5 inch. These are in green pumpkin, golden purple flake. Uh, they've got a very uh, unique looking uh, increase in the middle of the worm there, if you'll notice that. I'm guessing it kind of gives off some kind of different action and whatnot. Yeah, don't really Really care for that scent. Uh, that smells like garlic. Oh God, it is garlic. That'd be why. Guys, I'm not a fan of garlic baits. Um, don't get me wrong, they work phenomenally, but it makes me sick to my stomach. So we're gonna slide that back in there. Baits look phenomenal. God, I'm not gonna be able to smell my hands. Woo. Guys, they are ripe. Those are ready to catch some big bucket mouths. Um, really cool worm design overall. Really, really like that. That's gonna give off a stupid amount of, uh, of, of action in the water. I really, really like that. Now we're down to three. I have to try to decide which ones I wanna do first. Jig number one. Yes, there's a second one in there. No, I'm not getting it to it just yet. Okay, this is called the Justice Jig. We're gonna open it up. You all know how hard I am on jigs and people who make them, my gosh. There we go, all right. 
Very difficult to get that sucker open. Okay, so, ooh, that's got a very, very unique head to it, guys. Let me, let me get this cleaned up real quick. Okay, check out this head. It's flat. Kind of reminds me of the spot remover shaky head. Right off the bat, it's held on there with a rubber band. I don't like rubber band jigs. I'm just, I'm fair warning y'all. Um, if you're, if you like rubber band jigs, this looks like a phenomenal jig. I don't like rubber band jigs. Uh, still going to fish it, of course. It's got a very nice stout hook. Looks like a 3 aught, maybe 4 aught hook in there. Does not say what size the hook is. I'm probably going to go with a 4 aught. That's probably a 4 aught hook. A weed guard. Very nice. It's a little high for me, but we can bend it down. We can bend it down a little bit, but it still overlaps the hook. Really nice jig. Everything looks good about that. The only thing, you know, I'm just picky about my... Uh, picky about the bands. I like my stuff hand tied, but still a really, really nice looking jig. We will give that sucker a whirl. Next baits up. I'm looking forward to this one actually for Lake Chickamauga. Look at those. Those are some itty bitty little minnow baits. Uh, I'm not really sure what this company is. I've never used anything from these guys. Minwow, Minwow, I guess maybe. I don't really know. Hyperlastics. Based on this, we're gonna have to open it up because I, I mean, like I said, I don't know much about this company. But the way the backside is insinuating, this is going to be very similar to a Laztec. Gosh almighty, there we go. Good packaging, guys. Good packaging. All right, moment of truth. Is it a Laztec or like a Laztec? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, it sure is. It's just like a Laztec. Wow. Yes. Cool. Yeah, so really, really like that. Y'all know Z-Man took the world by storm with their Elastec. I don't know what they call this. They just call it Hyperlastic. Okay, cool. Um, I actually met a company at the East Tennessee Fishing Expo called Nico, who does the same thing. A lot of people are kind of getting into the stretchy material game. I really like these. These are gonna be very, very handy and very cool. When I'm down on Lake Chickamauga, if I get to throw a single swim bait, uh, this I'm probably going to throw this one quite a bit. Last, not least, by any means, the only reason why it's going last is because I've heard of them. I know a little bit about them. Um, I've never fished one of their jigs, though, because yet again, I like them. Wire tied. Phoenix Baits. I really like the color. It's black and purple. Um, everybody knows I got a thing for black and purple. Mostly purple, but, you know... I'll add in the black there because if I had a strict purple jig, I think that might look a little weird. Um, it may not, it might work really well. Okay, we have a very unique head yet again. I like this head. This is a, more of a finesse jig, a little bit smaller of a hook. That's a three aught hook. Check out that head. A very, very unique head. I like that a lot. It's kind of like an arky head. It's kind of the vibe it's giving me. It's got a little bit of brown in there too. I didn't notice that. A little bit of brown in there with the purple and black. I like that a lot. Uh, looks like this would skip very, very easily. Like I said, a smaller hook. Definitely going to be a more of a finesse style hook. But notice how much further up the weed guard comes. That is great, guys. You, that is what you want to see. You want to see a weed guard that comes way out here to protect that hook. And then you can manipulate it however you want to try and sit on that hook just a little bit better. And then you can trim it. If you get one that's already trimmed, it's not going to do any good for you if it's not long enough. So... Really, really good jig there. Really like that one, guys. That was a really good mystery tackle box this month, guys. I really enjoyed all of that jazz in there. Uh, lots of cool stuff that I already knew about, but even more cooler stuff that I didn't know about that we're just learning about. We've got the price sheet here. It looks like we got a phenomenal box yet again. Guys, do me a favor. Go over, check out Mystery Tackle Box. Go get yourself one. They are a phenomenal deal. Uh, the guys over there at Carl's really pack them full with all kinds of cool stuff. And Mystery Tackle Box make sure that we always have, have the best stuff in those boxes. Guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to talk down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys get Mystery Tackle Boxes. Take care, everybody.